All right, so if you're watching this video, you're probably uh, installing Quant V or Quant 5 uh, for the first time and you're wanting to know about the setup of it. How do you set up Quant 5? Well, it's pretty easy. Um, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go over here to Google. You're gonna go and uh, you can just Google uh, Quant 5, Quant 5, 5M. It'll take you to their Patreon here. It's a $10 a month subscription. You're gonna, um, for the, for it, to work like it should for you get the actual mod you're going to go over here and uh, make sure you are a um a level three ten dollar member okay doing that you'll be able to get your get everything that you need for quant 5 now there is a latest update of quant 5 that um requires if you're on an older version of of your of your server build or the newer version um you have to actually go into their discord to get it so i'll show you that right now so here we are on the on the Quant Five Discord. Um, the latest they can always keep their their builds. They were on ENB and then they swapped over to Reshade. And since the Reshade stuff has dropped, performance has increased for me and it has increased for other people. Therefore, um, when I was saying about the old game patch versus new game patch, you have to find out what your server build is on. So if your server build is on patch thirty two fifty eight or higher then you have to download this version whether you're on uh 5m or, or rage or where, whatever you play you know your 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 5m style role play stuff at um if you are on the old version you're going to do the old version my server that i play on is on the old version so you'll click and download this once you download this it will send you a dm with the link you download the link and then you'll uh you'll you'll, you'll put that into your downloads folder so we'll head over there and I'll show you where to go from there. All right, so I have my stuff in the uh, downloads folder. You're gonna find the Quant V package, which is right here. It'll be whatever date the day is. You're gonna take, you're gonna extract that out however you want to, via 7-zip, WinWire, regular Windows Explorer extraction, however. You're gonna extract that out. And you're gonna, you're gonna see this right here. Now, this is what I like to do. I like to have two different windows side by side here. I like to have two different windows, one for 5M, one for uh, one for the stuff I'm adding into 5M. So we'll open file location, app data, and this is what you'll see. You may or may not have a mods or plugins folder. That's fine. Um, anything that you have in your mods folder, you can take that out. You can you can back it up or you can leave it as is. And this is very simple to do. Um, you can read the README, but it doesn't give you the full setup for reshade. Reshade is the visual format that uh, the visual files that they use. So it requires a little bit of more backups, back end setup, which is not that hard. I'll walk you through it. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to add everything in that you need to. So it's the obvious part one. You're going to go in here and you're just going to take these folders. You're going to drag and drop, right? Drag and drop them in. Once you do that, they'll be put into here like so. Your quant V is there. Plugins are here. Then you're going to go over to part two and most people use the NUI process on what this is, is it within 5M it, it, you turn this on to help with, uh, with overlay lag. So if you're having some, some UI lag, some, some, uh, interface lag there, you're going to turn it on. And that's what it tells you here. If you're not sure, just go ahead and do GPU on. And what you'll do, you'll go into this plug plugins folder and you're just going to drag and drop that into the space. It's super easy. Drag and drop and you're done. So one of the things that it'll do, and I'll show you this as well. When you load into 5M, you're like, okay, I'm done, right? That's not the case because you're not going to be able to get it to load right. So you'll launch 5M, but, and if it worked properly, you'll have a little thing up top here that says reshade is enabling, right? But we don't have anything. If you press the home key, which is the default key to open reshade, it, nothing works. And you're like, okay, what's happening here? If you hit your F8, this is your this is your 5M console. It'll tell you blocked load of Reshade 5 version higher, um, and it'll tell you what you have to do to get it to get itself unblocked. So you're going to have an ID here. This is my build ID for my specific thing. Everybody has a different number. So you're going to take this entire line. I'll have this in the description. You're going to just take this ID here, the, the whatever you have here will be your number. 
and you will update this into the citizen fx so where's the citizen fx you probably don't know where that's at i'll show you if you go back over to your app data that i was talking about before if you go back over to your app data once we're in the 5m app data you're going to look for the file that says citizen fx config settings or some people it may be it may say citizen fx.ini you're going to double click in that and it'll open up usually in word i mean uh, in notepad my apologies in notepad you're going to do one space one enter you're going to have a little 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 space here right you have that space and then you're going to type in what i have in the description plus your code here plus your code it has to be identical to this or it will not read it properly like i said one space put what i have in the description and then your code here okay no spaces no nothing just as it is once you have that you're going to hit Control s or you're going to go over here and press save it'll save it to the file and then you can launch 5m again now this will tell you this this will tell you if you did it right if not go back and watch this video right up top here reshade 6.1.1 is in and the default home key or the default key to open reshade menu is home i have mine set to insert it's a super easy to change that if you don't like that um but this is what it looks like um then you can go through here and the customization you can do is wild um, you don't have to get out of 5m to go and adjust stuff like other graphics mods out there everything is done on the fly as of here um and you can just i mean just customize to your heart's desire um, i hope this video was very helpful for you if you have any questions i can try to answer them in the in the comments below um but i, I hope if, if 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 you are stuck on a on a on a step just go back and watch the video over and um and everything that everything else that you need like the uh like the the command line add-on that you need i'll have that in the description below um hope to see you guys out there if you're from the uh from ocrp and if you are um you know into gta gt5 rp hope you find a server you like and um and get after it your graphics are going to be top notch